Hey there guys, you go right here, and I'm here with another discussion for once. I know I don't do these often, in fact I've only done one before now. And yeah, anyway, I decided I'd be outside for once today, as it, well, it was sunny earlier. So I'm hoping it'll stay sunny for a little bit. Yeah, I've got Alfie next to me, somewhere. Yeah, there he is, as you can hear him. Um, and there's a bit of traffic, so ignore that, it's fine. But yeah, what I'm talking about today is how to find a Yu-Gi-Oh community if you move. I'm not on about like if you just like move down the street or something like that, you, you can use the same, same like community. I'm on about where if you move across the country, like what I did when I came to university, I'd move from the Midlands to Cambridge. So it's a good two hours by dri or driving or six hour train away. Just because I'll have to go through London and then back up to Birmingham and that sort of thing. So yeah. So you can see why it'll be difficult for me. Shush, Alfie. I mean it. He's very cute, but he's very annoying. Anyway, let's get started. Number one. Look for places in your school, college, or university. Really, if, assume you're at that of that age. Just because a lot of them will have tabletop and gaming societies anyway. And if they do then you can join there and then even if they don't have a U even if there's not a big Yu-Gi-Oh community there the people in there will normally be able to find or normally be able to help you find the, the Yu-Gi-Oh community even if it's just a local card shop or something along those lines really? yeah yeah that's what I did really to start with because I couldn't really do much else number two is use the internet as Konami does have, have a list of um, official tournament stores anyway so you can use that to find ones around your area and then there's also Facebook like, you can use Facebook like, even if, like you can ask on the trading groups, discussion groups if, if anyone know if there's anyone that goes to a locals in like the area that you're looking for or you could just search Facebook for like so, say you're going to say you're going to be live, moving to Cardiff go Cardiff Yu-Gi-Oh you'll find something normally at least even if it's even if it's not people that meet up a lot, and if it's just a discussion, you can at least it can at least allow you to like develop like and meet other people there, and that way you'll be able to actually find out where where people do meet. Yeah, I'm using my iPod to keep my notes. Number three is find your local comic book slash collectible shop. My ones were Forbidden Planet. I know. Or the, or the Cambridge lot and there's Forbidden Planet which is the one that we go to yeah I asked the staff at the Forbidden Planet they were rather useless they didn't know, they didn't do anything about it and they didn't say anything about Inner Sanctum but the customers some of the people that were, that were looking at the, anim at the manga and the anime they were helpful because yeah sometimes you just need to fake a bit of confidence and talk to someone it's not helpful a lot of the time, especially if you like me, you don't like talking to people much. But yeah. Sometimes you just need to talk to people and find out, really. Number four is, well, run your own tournament. The, the, it doesn't have to be like a big thing. It, it, if you're at college, university, school, someone, you can normally um, like ask to use, use space. And... Or you can like rent rent um, rent part of your um, well, rent part of a library's room or something, or one of the library's rooms or something like. That. They always have event rooms and that sort of thing that you can use, and then advertise it. As I said about Facebook earlier, use that because it's it's an amazing resource just to be able to use that sort of thing on those trading groups and the discussion groups saying yeah, there's a tournament here on this day. But if you do that, you need to make it consistent and. Even if even if like there's not much price price support, just it's at least it's at least something to like start a Yugo community if you can't find one, or it'll allow the the Yugo community there to just kind of find you, and then you can kind of find out where everything else is. If you understand what I'm on about, yeah. And number five is basically just to get to know people around around you. Uh, if you if you're at work and like there's a lot of people your your age anyway, get to know them, find out what their hobbies are and that sort of thing. You never know, you might find one one person that or that plays Yu-Gi-Oh. 
and if you do, great. You can ask them about it, or you can, or you can, if when they ask you, you can say, oh, you play this game, and they might, they might know something about where people play it. This one is a bit of a less sort of, what is it? Is a less likely one because all the other ones should generally be fine. Should generally sort you out, but yeah, I wanted to make it a five. So yeah, but then even if it's just like neighbours and that sort of thing, you never know. So yeah, these are my five um, tips on how to find a Yugo community if you if you move. This includes making your own community if you need to. But yeah. Anyway, that was it. Um, I plan on I plan on uploading a deck profile of my booting deck soon because I haven't done that yet. And there's there's also going to be updates of, of my other decks, like my um, I was going to say dark ones, but assault, but they're no longer available at the moment. Yeah, so there's BA that I'll probably up upload. I, I might try, I might um, I've got some people at locals who do want to upload some of, some of their decks. But it's just a matter of I need to I need to see them door first with it. I need to see how how the deck works. But yeah, I'll be back soon and goodbye.